Miss Howard, you have a visitor. You asked for me? Yes, I... I uh, I'm very worried about Dr. Keenan. No one's telling me anything. I, mean, I was hoping that you might have some news. Dr. Keenan is still in the ICU. Okay. His doctors don't know if he'll recover. Because of me? What happened? The blow to Dr. Keenan's head was serious enough to cause a subdural hematoma. He's bleeding in his brain. Oh, they can fix that, right? Well, his doctors are trying to figure out the best way to treat his injury. But it's touch and go. <laughs> All he wanted was to help me. <laughs> and this is what he got for his trouble. God, how could Connie do this? No. No, that's... I'm responsible, not Connie. I take it you've heard about my... Dr. Keenan said that somebody named Connie attacked him. Eventually, I figured out that Connie and Kate are the same person, aspects of you. Yeah, Dr. Keenan said I have DID, uh, Dissociative Identity Disorder. It's a pretty rare condition. Well, then I must be a textbook case because he diagnosed me rather quickly. Uh, he, he said that my personality had fragmented, that, um, that I, that I, uh, I don't know, it came from some sort of trauma. But I didn't want to believe him. I thought the whole idea seemed preposterous. He just wanted to help you. We started diagnosing this and working with Connie through hypnosis. But then we realized that she was quickly appearing more frequently, lasting longer, and she had an agenda. So Dr. Keenan advised me that I check myself into a hospital so I can get treatment in a controlled environment. I, I kept putting him off because I, I, I didn't want to do it. And... And then Connie just became so powerful, and she, she just became out of control. You're not the first person to put off treatment. I was too vain, or I was too afraid to commit myself when I had the chance. I waited until it was too late for Dr. Keenan. And everyone else I hurt. Second thought, I... I'm praying for Dr. Keenan. I don't know what I'll do if he doesn't recover. He wouldn't want you to think like that. He even wants you to focus on getting better. You're being very nice to me after the way I treated you. What do you mean? Dr. Keenan told me that Connie caused a scene at the Metro Court, trying to come in between the two of you. Well, at least now I know what was going on. She was so hell-bent on getting what she wanted, she didn't care who she hurt in the process. What did Connie want? She wants to hurt Sonny. And after months of trying, she got her wish. She slept with Johnny. Me. Killed. So she came up with all these ways to remind me of the danger. All these little tricks to create misunderstandings. I think Connie wanted me to break up with Sonny. And when she realized that that wasn't going to work, she changed tactics. So she decided to have Sonny break up with me. And she knows that Sonny does not tolerate betrayal. That's why she chose Johnny. Yeah. Connie knew that if Sonny found me in bed with his enemy, it would destroy any affection, any love he had for me. Because she knew that he would look at my face and he would always see Johnny. And she was right. But Sonny will never forgive me for this. Never is a very long time. Besides, it's not like Sonny has lived a blameless life. Oh, God, no. I hurt Sonny very, very badly when we were teenagers. It took me a very long time to regain his trust, and now I've broken it again. Uh, God, I just hope that someday he will understand that I never meant to hurt him. But why should he? But I can't even grasp it. Why should anyone understand? Maybe I do. Relations are the same. But I do know what it's like to keep a secret from the man you love. To be afraid to admit something you've done. And I know what it's like to lose everything because of it. Is that what happened between you and Lucky? He was my first love. 
And after two marriages and two divorces, our boys and everything else, we found our way back to each other. We were going to get married again. Third time's a charm. Should have been. But I decided I wasn't good enough for him. So to prove it, I had an affair with his brother. And instead of being honest, I hid it from him. And when Lucky found out, he didn't take it so well. I can imagine. But see, the thing is, I didn't have a Connie making bad decisions for me. I made them all by myself. And it broke me. Broke you how? I ended up on the roof of this building. Lucky had to talk me down. He said that no matter what, we would always be able to work our way through anything. And in a way, I guess we did. So, he forgave you. I've got orders to escort Miss Howard to the station. Elizabeth, did Lucky forgive you? Good luck, Kate. Get well. Elizabeth! <laughs> I was hoping to find you. Do you have any news about Dr. Keenan's condition? I do. And uh, I'm afraid it's not good. Excuse me, officer. You might tell me why I was called here. 